Hello, everybody. OK, then, I'm in my workshop this morning, and uh, yesterday I had a thinking day, really. I didn't really manufacture anything, I had a thinking day. And my thinking day were all about these little glow valves. Now, the book I'm working to and the drawings I'm working to from my local, they don't show any details of the of glow valves. So I must be I must assume that they think that you're gonna buy these in. Um well buying is a word that's not in my vocabulary. Uh so I've decided to to try and make some. And uh, I've got no I haven't got one to work to. I've got no drawings. I've I, there must be drawings out there to do them, and they must. I know he can buy them. They probably at this time when I'm making this recording in 2019. They're probably about for a right angle glow valve. They're probably about twenty pound a piece. Uh, so I had a thinking day yesterday, and I've come up with this prototype one, and it works. Um, it took a bit of fathoming out because there's that many different external and internal threads to do. You've got to make sure that... And then, and then you've got to also keep it in scale. So you've got to make sure that each thread and each external and internal thread that you're doing don't break into each other and uh, interfere with the valve and its seat and its spindle, how it when it's working on and off. So that were a bit complicated and involved really, but I've managed to I've managed to succeed and make this prototype. And what I'm gonna do now, now I've made a sketch of this prototype, because I did this out of my head this this writ and uh, then I drew it up later. So that's the body and the body's fabricated in two parts be silver soldered together. That's the actual valve. I'm calling it a valve seat. I know it's not a seat, it's the valve, but that's the little valve that fits on the seat inside the body. So you can see how small everything is. That's a 50 pence piece. Uh, then there's a spindle, then there's a spindle block which the spindle runs in. Never lost my valve then. Then there's the spindle block which runs in the sp sp spindle block, the spindle that runs in the spindle block that goes into the valve. Then there's a seat in the bottom of this valve, etc, etc. And all I've got to do now is make a circular handle for the top and a locking nut and then a little gland nut that fits on over this um, blank part of the spindle with no thread on with a seal in just to seal the top and the handles I'm going to make them like I've done my water gauge handles on my boiler these circular ones here uh, that's no problem. I've not got involved with that yet. That's that's not a problem. And then the glow valve will fit in my manifold. Two of them's going to go in my manifold. My manifold block, should I say. Like so. So I think I've kept them in scale. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I've got... I think I need three of these... But while I'm making them, I'm going to make a batch of six, I think. While machines are set up, I might as well just make six, because I'm not 100% sure how many I need. I know for sure I need three. Um, if you didn't see me making these other fittings for, for my boiler, I've done separate videos on all these. That's my regulator and that's my manifold. I've done my water gauges, etc., etc. You can catch up on them if you want. So, here's my drawing then, which I've made from my prototype. It's quite, it's quite involved, this. It's, it's not really complicated, it's just involved. And then, um, 
make sure you've got a spindle. I'm calling it a valve sheet, but it's really a, it's really the valve part. You've got a valve spindle block. You've got the main uh, body, part of the first part of the body, and then the second part of the body, which fit together. And then there'll be gland nuts, circular handles and locking nuts to lock the handle on. So, I'll try and do, I'll try and do a few videos of me making this. Watch this space then and I'll, uh, I think I'm going to make a start today at making uh, six of. Okay, so the first component I'm making on this miniature valve is the spindle. <clears throat> I'm using uh, some phosphor bronze bar that I had on stock which is 110 diameter, 110 thou that is I'm assuming it's a metric size but coincidentally it's the exact size I need for 6BA and 6BA is the thread I'm using on each end of this um, for the spindle. Inch and a sixteenth. I'm going to now put the threads on in the lathe uh, with my die holder. And basically all I'm doing, I've already made a start. I've already put the long thread on one end. I'm just turning it round now and putting it in the, setting it up in my self-centering chuck. I'm going to adjust me the, the amount that stuck out the chuck to the amount that I want thread in, like so. Now I've got my 6BA die in, and basically I'm just I'm just running this die up. I'll check my length of thread then, which is 5.30 seconds, yeah that's right. So that's all my, I'm calling them spindles for this part, completed. Okay, I'm moving on to the valve seat now. I know, truly speaking, it's not the valve seat actually, because it's the bit that the, the it's the bit that goes onto the valve seat. But I'm just for for this project calling it a valve seat, and that bit will screw onto the spindle, and it's only five thirty seconds long overall, with a six ba hole one eighth one eighth deep, OD of point two one eight to point two one seven and a 30 degree angle for the seat. So I'm going to carry on with that now.
Okay, that's the valve seat completed. Screwed onto the spindle. That will be silver soldered on eventually. Um, so I can move on to the next part now. Drawing upside down because that's how I've turned it in lathe. It's got a, a 3BA external thread on this side. It's got a 5/16 hex again in the middle. And on the other end, on the external thread, is quarter by 40. And then it's got a 6BA thread running right through the middle. And on this end here, with it with the three BA external thread is, it'll be counterboard to just to take the six BA thread out to two point seven diameter, and that's where the plane shank of the spindle will run up and down with a land nut and a seal on it. So, uh, I've completed this one in lathe now, and I've, I've basically done all the operations in one go, therefore I'll just have to turn it round to put the 3BA thread on, on this, on this side here. So I've, I've turned it to quarter 40 and cut the thread, I've drilled it, for 6BA, I've put the thread in, I've put this radius on this side, if you remember what you saw on drawing there's a radius there, and then I've turned that to the diameter for 3BA which is 0.161 thousandths. So now I'm going to part that off at the correct length and then I'll turn it round in chuck and just Put this 3BA thread in a bit. The threaded portion, the, the long threaded portion, screws into this block with the knob on the back, and that's what screws your valve in and out, your sealing part of your valve like so so that will be in there so I'm going to make f five of these and then I'll move on to the next uh, component and the, everything's very tiny um, so it makes things more difficult when, when I've designed this to make sure all the threads don't break into each other going to dot it with centre drill even though it's got a hole in it just to allow the drill to be able to run into the existing hole without wobbling. Then I'm going to put a 2.7 drill in to counterbore for the spindle diameter, the, shank, the plain shank on the spindle. I'm going to counterbore it a quarter deep And then I'm just running this 3BA up the outside and the land nut will fit on this and between the external thread and the internal hole I think there's only about a 64th 
less than a 64th wall thick thickness, probably 10th hour wall. But that's enough because the land nut's only having a seal in it just to avoid any leaks up the spindle. 